paperback. Example two on the back side of handout lesson 4.5 says, all of the face cards, jack, queen, king, are removed from the diamonds and hearts. The game is selected with two suits, diamonds and hearts. So this question is very similar to the one that you have in your textbook. I think the one in the textbook says though that you're using all four suits. Okay, so this is a version of question in the textbook. Uh, so a game is played with two suits, diamonds and hearts with no face cards. Okay, and the face cards are these. Okay, so they are they are removed. You have one die. You select a card and then roll a six-sided die. So determine the total number of possible outcomes. So the total number total number of outcomes is equal to the number of outcomes in event A times the number of outcomes in event B. Better check to see that I'm tracking the time here. Okay. So what do you have? So what would event A be? So it says you select a card. So a card is event event A and you roll a die. Roll a die. Okay. So how many cards are you looking at selecting from? You have two suits, uh, diamonds and hearts, but the face cards, the jack, the queen, and the king have all been removed. So you select a card, but you have the two, the three, the four, the five, the six, the seven, the eight, the nine, the ten, and in all of those you have two suits. Okay, so the number of outcomes in event A, which is the selecting the card, is the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 times two suits times the roll of the die. So you have a 1, a two, a three, a four, a five, and a six. So these up here are all are my possible outcomes. So you have six outcomes there. Six faces um, of a die. Okay, so uh, nine times two times six. Nine times six is 54 times two is 108. So it looks like 108 is your total number. Describe the elements of the sample space for this game. Elements in sample space. For this game. Okay, so let's go uh, the best we can in order. So let's go with diamonds. So in diamonds. Uh, you've got the diamond and a die. So you've got the the two of diamonds and you've got the one on the die. You've got the two of diamonds and you've got the two of the die. Actually, let's do this, put a comma there. You've got a two of the diamonds, you've got a three on a die, you've got the two of diamonds, you've got the four of the die, you've got the two of diamonds, and you've got the five on the die, and you've got the two of diamonds, and you've got the six on the die. So you can see where this is headed, right? So you go three of diamonds, you've got the one. 
three of diamonds, you've got the two, got the three of diamonds, you've got the three, okay, so you've got all these up here, and you've got the three of diamonds, and you've got the six, right? So all these, right, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then you've got the four of diamonds, and you've got the one, you've got the four of diamonds, and you've got the two on the die, and then so on, so on, so on, four of diamonds, and you've got the six. You could see very quickly that if we go far enough, we're going to get to 108. So how far could we go? So we've got diamonds, so we've got to go all the way for the five of diamonds, right? You've got the six, got the six of diamonds, right? You've got the seven diamonds, you've got the eight of diamonds, you got a lot, right? You got the nine of diamonds, You've got the 10 of diamonds. And these are all ending up as five of diamonds with the six, the six of diamonds to get the six. You've got the seven of diamonds to get the six got the eight of diamonds to get the six. So all of these here, right, all of these dash marks are repeated patterns that you have established up here, okay? So up here you've got the nine of diamonds. It would be important though to make sure that you establish your pattern to demonstrate that you know what's happening, okay? So 10 of diamonds to get a 6. Okay, so we've done that for um, the diamonds. Now, guess what? <laughs> hearts. Hearts and the die. Right? So what you want to say is, okay, so what did we do here? We had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's 6. 6, how many groups of 6 do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine groups, nine groups of six is nine times six. Now we're going to double that, right? So that's where the nine, the two, and the six come from. So nine face cards, six combinations. You can see it here, six combinations. So that's nine times six in total. And then we've got to do the same thing for hearts. So then again, you'd have to establish the two of hearts and the one on the die, the two of hearts and the two on the die, the three of hearts and the three of the die. Oops, 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 oops. The two of hearts and the four on the die, the two of hearts and the five of the die, and the two of hearts and the six of the die, right? So you've got the three of hearts and the one, the four of hearts and the one, you've got the five of hearts and the one, the six of hearts and the one, the seven hearts. Nope, that's a bad heart. And the one, the eight heart, and a one, the nine heart, and the one, and the ten. We're still visible? Yes, we are. Okay, good. So then I go all the way over here, and this is the three of hearts with the six the four of hearts with the six, the 
five of hearts with the six, the six of hearts with the six, seven of hearts. Okay, so we're still following the pattern. Eight of hearts with the six, the nine of hearts with the six, and the ten of hearts with the six. Okay, so all these lines here, these dot, dot, dot lines, that means that we're continuing the same pattern that we established up here, okay? And we already explained how this represents the total number of outcomes to be 108. We wouldn't want to physically write that because we would be here forever and I would run out of video space. Okay, so uh, C, find the probability for each of these events. Okay, so C, let's do C. Uh, so an even card and an even roll of the die. Okay, so the probability of an even card and an even, even roll of the die. Even roll. Okay, I have to think of my outcomes. So an even card would be uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So these are my outcomes. Okay, and then uh, in two suits, right? My even roll is a two, a four, and a six, right? So my probability, my probability is equal to, let's just do uh, equals. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, five outcomes times two suits, and then I want to multiply my number of even rolls. Two times two, or sorry, three, three uh, even rolls. Right? Divided by my total number, which I already said was 108. I could reduce this so it's divisible by 2 so 1 so that would go uh, 54 and that adds up to 9 so it's divisible by 3 so 1 uh, 3 goes into 5 once 2 24 is 8 so 5 times 1 times 1 is 5 and 5 over 18 okay uh, okay so that was I all right, so C, double I. We want to know the even card and an odd roll. Okay, so the probability of an even card and an odd roll. Well, hopefully you can say, well, it's just like question C, I, where your even cards were uh, five outcomes and your odd rolls are just one, three, five one, three, five, so that although the outcome looks different, the number of outcomes is the same, right? So you had, uh, so five outcomes times two suits times three odd rolls. So again, these these numbers in the top of the numerator are always the number of desired outcomes. The same thing that we talked about in 4.2, okay? And we talked about it in 4.1. One thing, this is theoretical probability. So that means that I base my numerator and the number of desired outcomes on something that will not change. I will never change the number of even cards in a deck according to the description here in my game, right? So compared to a experimental probability where randomness is paramount. So theoretical probability will mean that each and every one of us will get the exact same probability answers. Whereas in the experimental probability, randomly selecting a card 
could be done differently between you and I, and so the probabilities are going to end up uh, different, okay? So C triple I, so C triple I. Card of five and a roll of a die, two or less. Okay, so the probability that the card is five, card is five, and a roll of the die, two or less. Roll is two or less. Okay, so let's consider our outcomes. I only have one outcome, which is the five, right? But it's in, but it's in two suits, the diamonds and the hearts, right? My two or less, my roll of two or less, I could have a two or I could have a one, right? So my probability is equal to the one, the one, the one five, the one outcome, the one outcome, the one five times the two suits times the uh, two outcomes on die. Okay, all divided by 108. And I could divide this, okay, so that goes uh, once, so 2 divided by, or divides 108 uh, 54 times. So 1 times 1 times 2, oh, I could divert, huh. okay, so divide there. So what would that be? 26, 7, 27. So 1 times 1 times 1, 1 over 27. Okay. All right, C, I, V. The sum of the card and the die is 4. Okay, so if I want to do the sum of the die, sum of the die and the card. Okay, so I've got I've got die, so I've got the 1, the 2, the 3, the 4, the 5, the 6. I've got the card, so I've got a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, a 6, a 7, an 8, a 9, a 10. Okay, and then I do my sums. So this would be 3, 2 plus 1 is 3, 2 plus 2 is 4, 2 plus 3 is 5, and 6, and 7, and 8, 3 plus 1 is 4, 3 plus 2 is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then I could continue 4 plus 1 is 5, 4 plus 2 is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on, right? So 6, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and what I'm doing here is showing what you'd need to do in order to answer some of the textbook questions because their sums are a little bit greater than, than 4, okay? So then you would continue, so you'd go 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 7 plus 1 is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 8 plus 1 is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, uh, 9 plus 1 is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 10 plus 1 is 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, so all I want though is the sum of the card and the die is 4. So probability sum of card and die is 4. Okay, so where is that? The sums are right here. Okay, so I have uh, two outcomes times two suits divided by 108. So that's uh, 1, 2, 54, 1 and 27, I think we said. 1 times 1 is 1 over 27.